Hi guys, it's Kylie. Um, so today I'm doing a video that I kind of think is important to me. Not that important, but like, uh, it's important to me. So today I am doing um, a makeup bag for beginners video. Um, I think this is this is like as my important list because I know like when I was starting makeup. I didn't really know what was good, what was worth my money, what wasn't. And I, I just really want to make this video to help people. So I'm going to be talking about how I like these products, the price points, stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, let's get into it. So this is the bag that I'm using. It's a Too Faced bag. I got this. It's like a limited edition one anyway, so you guys... But also, uh, I'm not, like, a makeup bag kind of person. I don't really like makeup bags. Unless I'm traveling, which doesn't happen often, so. This is all my goodies to talk about with you guys today. So, I have a list of primer, eyebrows, foundation, bronzer, blush, highlighter, a lipstick, a lip gloss, an eyeshadow, a mascara and a beauty blender and brushes so I'm just I just I have a little list is what I'm reading off of in case you guys are wondering why I look down I just really don't want to forget anything I really just want to make sure you guys have everything that you feel like you need I included a lipstick and a lip gloss to give you a variety as well as I included two different foundations so I think I'm going to start with primer and I think you guys can guess what I'm gonna say I'm going to be talking about the e.l.f. Putty Primer. This is the poreless one. They also have a matte and a translucent one. This one's almost gone. I love this primer to death. It is $8. That's ex... I want to say that's expensive, but it's not. Primers are very... They're kind of expensive. They're kind of pricey. So I feel like this one is definitely worth your money. Um, Either this one, which is the poreless... The matte or the translucent. I recommend them all. Yeah. Um. So for the foundations. I included two options. <sighs> to start. I am going to talk about the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation. This is definitely more of a matte. It has a pump. Which I. I like. Um, this is definitely more matte. These are both full coverage, both of them that I'm talking about. The And this is $6. Uh, the other one that I recommend is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. This is more of a dewy, and it's a spatula applicator. Personally, I this doesn't bother me, but I know this spatula bothers a lot of people. So, I'm just giving you guys both these options in case you want a dewy or one or a matte. I know mine look different colors. This is my, like, summer one. So, I don't really use this right now. But, you guys get what I'm saying. Um, for eyebrows, I have this e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. I have this e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. You guys will see a lot of e.l.f. products in Wet n Wild because they are cheap. Yes, price-wise, but they are really good products for your money. And I definitely feel like you guys should be experiencing that. I feel like everyone should be experiencing that. So this is the e.l.f. Instant Lift Brow Pencil. Just like any eyebrow pencil. Spoolie on the other side. I didn't really feel the need to include any other brow products. Because if you're just starting out, I feel like you don't really, you shouldn't worry about, like, your eyebrows. Like, if this is your first ever, like, makeup, like, you, you'll get better over time and you'll get more products. You know what I mean? So, for the mascara, I definitely recommend the Maybelline Temptations. Uh, this is a waterproof one, but then the other one, the other one, the regular one is just as good. I like them both. This is my favorite. Uh, the wand, I love. It's not clumpy. It's not dry. 
I just love it. And this is eight dollars. For bronzer, uh, I definitely recommend this Profusion Pro Contour Palette. I got this at my nearest Five Below for $5. It has some regular pressed pigments. Pressed. Uh, it has some regular powder, so you could use that to set your under eyes. And then it has uh, your bronzers. And it comes in a variety of colors in one palette. Um, yeah, I definitely recommend that. It's just a great way to start out using something like this. It really just gets you used to it. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Blush. Um, I really enjoy this blush. I know they make a couple other ones, and those are different prices, but I'm not sure about those. This one, however, is $4. And you get a lot of product. It's... 0.21 ounces. I never tell anyone that stuff because I don't really know that stuff. This one's really nice. I have this in pearlescent pink and it has like sparkles in it. I think it's really pretty. Um, for highlight, I have another Wet n Wild highlighter. This one is $6, and I have this one in Golden Flower Crown. I have heard a lot of people talk about these, as well as their baked highlighters. Personally, I like this one more than the baked one. I didn't really like the baked one, but this is a great starter. For lipstick, I definitely recommend the Superstay Ink Crayon. Why I recommend this preferred to like a normal lipstick is I definitely feel like it's way more moisturizing and the color just really shows up super well. I feel like which is one of the other reasons I definitely recommend it more than like a regular lipstick. Um, for the lip gloss. Um, I f love the e.l.f. Tempted Lip Oil. Again, super moisturizing. This one is in Mocha Kiss. And this is one of my favorites. It's a... It's an oil, like a tinted oil. So it's not as prominent as a gloss. But I definitely think this is better. This is $3. And this, the Super Shock... Super Stay is eight dollars. Um, so for the part that I've been waiting for personally, uh, so I made a whole video on this palette. Sure, you guys have seen it. <laughs> Hopefully, this is the Wet and Wild. This is the Bretman Rock X Wet n Wild palette. This palette is... I wasn't even going to get this palette, honestly. If you guys want me to be 100% honest, I wasn't going to get it. Didn't really pique my interest. And then I saw it in stores. I saw it in person, and I was like, I need this palette. And I'm so glad I got this palette, because now I can recommend it to you guys. This palette is $15. If you are someone who is new at makeup and you want to get into color, I highly recommend this palette. There are so many gorgeous shades on this palette. I don't want to get too in depth with this palette because I have a whole video of it. I'll put that in the description. 
but I really just think you guys should invest in this palette. If you you're interested in color, if not, if you're not interested in color, I definitely recommend like a profusion palette or something like that. Personally, I don't own a lot without color, so I can't really recommend you guys any. But this is like there's some neutral shades. I and it's funny because I used to wear neutral shades shades all the time. And I just used to wear these three colors. But I'm not really a neutral person anymore. So I really apologize for not being able to give you a really cheap neutral option. I don't really have cheap ones. Not cheap like that, but um, I really would love to try out some, like, e.l.f. highlighters, some e.l.f., um, eyeshadows, wet and wild, more wet and wild eyeshadows, because honestly, this is the first ever wet and wild palette I've ever tried, and I'm so pleased with it, so I definitely think I'm going to be trying more. Um, yeah, and I will keep you guys updated. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. Because honestly, I really want everyone to feel comfortable with makeup. And if it's your first time ever, like, buying makeup, I want you guys to feel comfortable with it. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section. Um, yeah. Love you all. Bye.